Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm so glad to have you guys here. Uh, in today's video, um, I'm going to be decluttering and cleaning my master bedroom. Um, there's, I don't have a whole lot of stuff in my bedroom, which is kind of the point. Because um, it's less easier to clean because there's less stuff in it. But I am going to be going through all of the drawers um, in, my, in my nightstands. So, um, and then I'm going to be cleaning top to bottom. I really need a dust in here. I haven't dusted in such a long time. I need to dust my ceiling fan. I need to um, clean my windows and do all of that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you feel like cleaning alongside me, I'd love to have you here. If not, feel free and relax. Um, but I am going to declutter as well, so and I'm going to set a timer for an hour and see how much I can get done. Henry is taking a nap, so um, that's why I want to get this done in at least an hour. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll have an extra hour to clean, but um, I know his napping days are coming to an end, so I'm not going to hold my breath. All right, you guys, let's get started. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm hey guys and welcome back to my channel I'm so glad to have you here today and in this video I'm going to be giving my master bedroom a really good clean um, I just want to let you know that I am sick again um, that's just what happens when you have a child in school they bring home all the bacteria so, you know, and then everybody around them gets sick and that's just how it is. So I wanted to post this video, guys, for you much sooner. Um, I actually filmed this about a week ago, but I just ran out of time uh, with filming and then editing. I just ran out of time, but I'm posting it for you guys now. Um, I went to stay with my brother and his family over the weekend and I was hoping to do some editing while I was there but that just didn't happen. I just decided to spend time with my dad and my siblings and um, not worry about YouTube a whole lot. So I start off by dusting my entire room uh, top to bottom. My ceiling fan had probably a good... I don't know, half inch of dust on the blades. I wish I had um, taken a picture of the ceiling blade or the yeah c ceiling fan blades so I could show you guys just how nasty it was. So then I go to um, dust my 
baseboards with this new sponge thing. I don't know how I feel about it. it it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. Um, also, I give my good my fake plant a good rinse in the shower, and I just let it hang out there the entire time I was cleaning my room. Um, so this sponge thing, it does really well on flat surfaces. Um, I tried to clean my doors with it, and um, it just did not work really well. It did collect all the dust on the baseboards, as you could see. But when I tried to use it in on my doors here, it did not work well. And I just switched to a regular uh, like dish sponge and that worked really well. Um, I do need to get like wood polish or something and put that on my doors just to kind of seal them and give them a really nice look. But I got all of the dirt off of those doors um, from my dogs and from my son. Um, I didn't realize how dirty those doors were until I got down on the floor and really started looking at them. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you're doing fine because you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure, you just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy So cleaning these wooden blinds was an absolute nightmare. Um, I hated it and it took forever to do it. The easiest way to clean blinds is usually to pop them off and just either stick them in the shower and rinse them off that way or even in the bathtub. I tried to do that with these blinds but I ended up breaking, almost breaking one of them so I decided not to do that. But um, what after seemed to be an eternity, I uh, was done finally cleaning them. And then I go to clean my fan and this thing was nasty. Um, I took it apart and you'll see all the dust in it. And it was pretty gross. Um, I need to get like a can of compressed air to clean it um, better. So I ordered some just a couple of days ago so it should hopefully be here in the next day or two but I gave that a really good clean and um and it's you know there's not a big old dust layer on my fan blades anymore so then footage here is going to be a little bit dark but this is my desk area um I have it set up in my master bedroom for now only because that's the only place where I can put a desk that is semi-private. Keeping Henry away from my desk has been challenging, but he's learning to not um, touch mommy's things, especially on her desk. But I wipe everything down really well, and then I go to clean the blinds here. And again, this took an eternity to clean them, and... But, you know, they're all dust-free for now. So I know I mentioned that this video, is there's going to be decluttering in here, but there actually isn't a whole lot that I decluttered out of my room. I try to keep my room pretty clean um, because it's my sanctuary and I try not to have a whole lot of stuff in here. What 
my room is like is what I want for my entire house. Just very minimal. I only have what I need and what I love. And that's what I want for my entire house. And I know right now that is not where I'm at in my life. I have a small child and, you know, with that comes all of the clutter with having a small child. Lots of toys, lots of books, random socks, you know, that seem to always be all over the house. And, you know, that's okay. But at least I have my bedroom that is my sanctuary and it is clean and minimal just how I like it. I've always admired those who just do it and they conquered their fears. They fall back down and they keep getting up and they try to steer clear. I'm afraid, I'll admit, what if I'm stuck in my mind? I'm not great, neither rich, but will you stay here by my side? All the good times turn into memories and the revelry goes on. Cleaning out my nightstand didn't take me very long. Um, I did spend more time looking at old pictures I found from when I was a kid, from when Henry was little. But a lot of the stuff that I um, pulled out of there was mostly trash. And I threw all that away. And then um, my husband cleaned out his nightstand as well. And we filled up the bag of garbage pretty quickly. So I vacuumed it all out and he vacuumed out his side. And um, I put back what I wanted to keep and everything else just um, went into the garbage. But tell me who else hangs on to their old... Uh, boxes for their phones, watches, or anything like that. I have a hard time letting them go for whatever reason, but I did get rid of a couple of the boxes. Anybody else hang on to old boxes in case you need them? Not sure for what, but I'm going to throw mine away and I'm giving you permission to throw yours away. So go ahead and toss those old boxes for your phones, watches, whatever, and get them out of your house. I am going to hang on to this one though. One of the best ways I've found to clean under my bed is using an extendable duster like this one. It just gets everything out from under the bed, all the dust bunnies, the dog hair, um, cat hair, you know, socks, papers, you know, all sorts of stuff. And it fits easily underneath my dresser. You'll see me um, dusting underneath my dresser. And it just, it's such a good tip and it saves your back. Um, I'm getting too old to climb around on my hands and knees trying to clean under my bed. So this is a good tip for you guys. If you have a hard time getting down on the floor, um, you know, this is a good tip and it saves your back. But I am getting pretty close to finishing up cleaning my room. It took me... Um, I want to say me a, a little over two hours to get this all done and that's only because I had to stop for a bit to um, 
be with Henry. So, but now I'm getting ready to vacuum everything really well. And again, I do what's called slow vacuuming and that's just exactly what it is. You just take your time and you vacuum very, very slow in multiple directions. And that really sucks up all of the pet hair, the dust, the dander, everything. And you'll see just how full my vacuum cleaner is. And you can really feel the difference on your feet. Um, after I'm done vacuuming, I sprinkle the carpet refresh stuff um, from Arm & Hammer. And I let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes just to soak up any um, odors and, you know, deodorize the carpet. And I give that a good vacuum as well. And then I end up just mopping my floors with my um, Tenko Vac Mop. And my room just feels and smelled so good. And going to bed on this night was such a treat. Um, I did clean the sheets and everything the day before. Like I actually vacuumed my mattress. I forgot to record that. But um, just going to bed on this night was such a treat because my room was so clean and it just smelled so good. And I will show you all the things I decluttered. It's not a lot and I don't know what happened to the footage of me actually decluttering these items. But they're just socks and some shapewear out of my dresser. But here is my room all nice and clean, nice and fresh and dust free which is the best part. And I couldn't go wait to go to bed on this night on my clean bed and in my super clean room. So this is everything I decluttered out of my room. I know it's not a lot. There's more garbage than anything. If you hear screaming, Henry and his dad are having fun. So I just got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of socks and some shapewear that I'm getting rid of. And you guys saw that big bag of garbage. So that will do it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was more of a cleaning than a decluttering video. Because I gave my bedroom a makeover, uh, when did I do that? Probably in the summer. There isn't much to declutter here. I got rid of a lot. I'll link those videos down below if you guys are interested in seeing them. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. It's probably going to be my master uh, closet declutter. Um, so that that's going to be filmed soon. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.